Hello, I'm going to show you what um, we mean with method overload. So method overload is where I've got different methods. I'll just collapse them quickly. And um, the methods have got exactly the same name. Calc price, calc price, calc price. And this is in one class. So I've got my class and then I've got my public static void main. And between that, I've got three methods, but all of them have got exactly the same name. So what is what is that? Okay, so um, you know that you can't create the same method in the same class twice. So how is it that I can create um, three methods called calc price? Well, the difference is in the parameters that I've got. Okay, so my parameters here, I've got a double and an int, here I've got an int and an int, and here I've got a string and a string. Um, my return type in these are all the same. All of them have got a return type of double, but in fact, um, you can have different return types as well. So the difference between the, dif the different methods is that they differ in the parameters that I've used in the brackets. So they can differ in the data types that you've got in the brackets or in the number of parameters that you've got in the brackets. So you've got a double and an int, an int and an int and a string and a string. So the difference is the data types. However, it could also have been that some of them had one parameter and the other one had two and the other one had three parameters. It could also mean that my return types were different. So that is, um, uh, in other words, the, the way that I do overload. Now let's just quickly see the, the reason why I would use overload is I want to do something and that what I want to do is roughly the same okay um, so I want to calculate a price so I want to calculate the price but I need three methods why do I need three methods it's because the data that's available in that I am going to get in order to calculate the data the, the calc price in order to calculate the price I'm going to have different variables I can have a double and an int, or I can have an int and an int, or a string and an int. Okay, so um, I've got to provide for the different data types that I will have available so that I can calculate the calc price. I need to know, I need to have different methods because I might have a double and an int, I might have an int and an int, and I might have a string and a string. So in the event of having a double in int, what am I going to do? In in the event where I've got an int and an int, what will I do? And when I've got a string and an int and a string, what will I do? So I've got to program these different calculations in. All of them are going to result in a, calc a calculated price, but exactly how was it calculated? Slightly differently, not because it's doing a different calculation or giving me a different price or something, just because the input that I have available in order to calculate that price, the input is different so I must cater for different data types and that is why I've got different methods so here for instance I've got double ticket price and I multiply them I return a double so here I've got a double and a so it's the same thing because the internet double works roughly the same but I've got a big difference here where I've got a string and a string coming I've got to pass double to make them doubles first, and I pass double the people as well, and then I've got two doubles that I can then multiply, and then I can get my ticket price. So you can see I couldn't do this in the same way as I can do the int multiply the double. I've got to first change the string to a double and then do it. So in other words, the the calculation is in essence the same, but I've got to deal with the different data types, and that is why I've got this method overload. Okay, so um, I just wanted to show you how will I use the method overload. Now this is quite interesting and this is where Java is fantastic. Okay, so I don't have to worry at all which of the methods will be run. I just have to provide the data that I've got available. So if I've got I've got a double, um, I've got a double price to pay and I've got a double ticket price and then I use calc price with two doubles okay no uh, integer the integer number of people is integer so I use my uh, ticket price which is a double and I use my 
number of people which is an integer. So because I'm using it, I'm calling this method, I'm calling it with the data that I've got available. The data that I've got is double and int. So because I'm calling it with double and int, the computer says, oh, calculus, oh, I must do calculus. Now the computer says, calculus, oh, I've got three. Which one shall I use? Oh, I don't know. Okay. So let's use the one where my input parameters match what I've been given. So because the computer has been given a double and int, it would say, okay, I'm going to use this method here because I've got a double and int. I'm not going to write, try and run it with an int and a int or with a string and a string. Because I was given a double and an int, I'm going to use this one here where I've got a double, where I'm expecting a double and int. Okay, now let's say, for instance, my, what I've got available is an int ticket price and an int number of people. Here I'm calling it, I'm calling the method calc price with an int and an int. So the computer says, oh, hang on a minute, what should I do, what should I do, oh, should I do this one, this one, this one. Oh, well, I've been given an int and an int, and because I've been given an int and an int, I will use that one. Again, exactly the same when I've been given a string, I've given a string and a string. The computer says, oh, well, I've been given a string and a string, then I'm going to use the version of my calculus method where I am expecting a string and a string, and I know how to deal with string and string. So um, what is a method overload? Method overload is where I've got multiple methods with the same name. The difference between the different signatures, the name is the same, but the input parameters are different. So the input parameters in the data types that I have, or it could also be a different number of parameters, um, that is the difference between the signature lines. And how would I use them? The computer, I can just use them with the data I have. The computer will figure out which of the versions to use because it matches up the input parameters with the data values that's been given at the method call. And that is method overload. You see, it's extremely simple.